Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. And we are here again with another episode of a, a, ju uh, a junk mail makeover. Let's take the junk and make it something fun and pretty and usable. Um, I have, I did try th this lace on one of these pages and I let it dry just to see if I would like it and I do. So let me just start off by saying, when I was doing this, it was so much fun just to put paper on and then tear the edges. And then I realized this is very <laughs> flimsy paper. So I needed to do something with it. Um, and I'm still trying to figure that out. I feel like if, if I was going to draw or draw or write in this journal, I still can. I mean, I just open the page and I can, I can write right here. There's a, you know, the edge right here, which could be hindrance. I don't know. I mean, I feel like all my journals have some sort of hindrance, <laughs> you know, whatever. But I can also use it to put other art on. I can collage on it. I can paint on it. I can add a little pocket and put pictures. And there's just so many different things. And we all know that, right? So I don't really remember where I left off. So let's just go really quick here and I'll show you. I I sewn with my, with my sewing machine up all the edges on the pages and through here. Oops, and so you can't see it. So what I did is I just opened up my pages like this and I ran it through my sewing machine and then I closed those two pages and then I took the next one and I flopped open those ones and then I ran it through again. And that's how I got my super messy, super awesome stitching on there. <laughs> and then I haven't done anything to the front covers yet. I'm still debating whether I want to put just a paper on there or if I actually want to put a piece of fabric on there. Um, I just feel like sometimes the fabric just gives it just that little bit, just a little bit more softness to it. And I know it'll fit in my little booklet or my little envelope here still. My booklet will fill it, still fit in my envelope. And it is a little snug, but it's not like, it's not overly tight. It's just a little snug. And um, I just want to make sure like if I put fabric on there, will it stop? Does that make sense? Because it is, it is a little snug. Anyways, then I thought because of my papers being so um, thin, it's just a very thin, inexpensive paper. I went ahead and I took lace. I thought that would be pretty um, just to give it a little bit more stability. So here I, I've cut myself a few pieces and all I'm doing is putting it on the edges here, like of this, just like that. And that way I still have the, the full use of the page. So let's get those on real quick. And I went ahead and used my Fabri-Tac. All right. Come on, Fabri-Tac. I hope everyone is doing well, and I would love to know if you're doing some junk journal or so, so sorry. I'm going to keep saying that. Some junk mail makeovers. Are you doing junk mail makeovers? I know a lot of my friends here are saying they like this. Um, they're excited to see how this plays out <laughs> and what happens. I am too. So I love playing with junk mail. I do get a lot of it, and, um, and Deb, I think it was Deb. Hi, Deb, said that uh, she doesn't get as much junk mail anymore. I mean, or maybe not even hardly at all, if any. Um, with this whole new digital world, and I thought, I never thought about that, but you're right. I still get junk mail, not near the amount that I used to, but I still get it. I mean, is it because of where I live? I don't know, but um, you know, being, I, I just don't know if that's the case. But you know what? I find a lot of junk mail at the post office. People throw it away. It's in the garbage and I am a, Oh my gosh, I'm a garbage digger. No. <laughs> if I see stuff, sometimes they don't just throw it away. They just like set it on top um, because they know people re will recycle or they just don't want to be the cause of adding to the landfill. Who knows? Who knows why? But anyhow, it's right there. So I sometimes I grab it depending on if I, if I have a project in mind or whatever I'm doing. So I think I'm going to look for more of those things uh, that I like to work with. I like to work with things that are pre like it's like pre-made. It's like the like the skeleton of the folio or the journal or whatever it is that I'm making. It's already there. That, that's what this is. And that's what I consider this. It's already here. And I'm using my fingers, which I will tell you, I did not do that last time. But I, I cleaned up, so I don't know a different stuff. Oh, here we go. Got this little dollar store little paddle here. 
it's a face paddle thing, whatever. I don't know. Uh, okay. And then you can go in later if you want and, and get these down. I'm going to go ahead and get this one down right now. Sometimes my laters don't ever happen. There we go. There we go. All right. And, okay. Yeah, see, and then it'll open. Now, I mean, there might be a little bit, let me see. There might be a little bit, what, what are you trying to say, Sandra? There might be a little bit of a, like this one, like you can see like how, how it has like a little bump up, but I don't, that doesn't bother me because it's, it's all the way down when it's closed. And when it's open is when I'll be playing with it. So, or whoever, someone will be playing with it. Um, I don't know that I will. I barely have time to make them. I don't have time to play in them. <laughs> Anybody else have that problem? <laughs> so anyways, I have I have some junk mail on its way to you, Deb. <laughs> you may have already gotten it by the time you see this video. So be careful what you say. <laughs> um, it's not a lot. I mean, if anybody wants to know, I didn't send a lot. I just... I have a lot of these little things right here that I'm making, and this is a fun thing, and um, I just thought maybe she Deb would like that. So it's uh, it's the same exact mail thing um, with the with this envelope. Yeah, those credit card companies, man, they just really want us to get as as much as we can, but we never do it, and that's why we keep getting them. I think but I think if we ever give in, we're like, oh yeah, we'll get that card. We'll stop getting this cool junk mail. You know how they have the, I don't know if they still do, but the prepaid postage to send it back. Oh, I used to get so mad because we'd get so much junk mail. I would um, take all the junk mail and I would just, my love of tearing things up, I would tear up all the mail on the inside and then I would mail it, put it in their pre-stamped or prepaid postage thing and I'd send it back to them. Isn't that terrible? What a... That was that was angry, Sandra. <laughs> Anyways, goodness gracious. So, I'm really not paying attention. I don't think. Um, maybe I am subconsciously on which way I'm putting my lace. But this really, this uh, really, this white lace with these pretty flowers on it that you can see through so much this like this I like it both ways I like it whoops there's fuzzies on me I like it right side up and wrong side up so it may be going both ways on this journal and that's absolutely fine with me okay we don't all have to be the same right pages so yeah see I can tell right now no I can't yes I can no yes no yes um oh my gosh <laughs> this one's right side up these ones are wrong side so maybe I should, now I feel like I need to do this one that way so it matches. Now I need, I need some order, I need some order in my life. So let's put this one on. See how fast and easy this is? I mean, granted, I already have these pre-cut, but that was not the hardest part. So I think I am going to do, I have so much, like I was saying before, I have a lot of junk mail. And I like playing with my junk mail. If nothing else, it just gives me, it gets me my, my creativity going. Just to start, you know, cutting and chopping and ripping and laying things down. So that's always great. And um, I get to use this up and make it pretty. And I cannot tell you how many times I have given somebody something that I used junk mail to make it. And they're like, this is the most beautiful thing. I just love it. I'm going to save it forever. And I was like, well, you had stuff like that. You just threw it all away, though. I was kidding. You didn't, you didn't make it pretty and you just threw it away. Deb. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so, I was also thinking about it would be kind of fun to... I mean, with the junk mail, we also get all those envelopes, right? Those other envelopes, you know, to send stuff back in. You know, stuff that I would send all their junk mail back into them. <laughs> and that'd be kind of fun to incorporate into these also. There's just so many things. So many. 
So I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a playlist. I gotta create one. I think I have to be on my big computer to make the playlist. And I'm gonna make a playlist that's just, it's gonna be um, junk, junk mail makeover, I guess, is what I'm gonna call it, junk mail makeover. I'll know what it means when I go, when I'm looking for stuff. And Whoops, what is that? A, oh, this was had that, all those little tiny yellow flowers on it, and I have that cool string. June to throw it away. So, I may say this more than once because sometimes I forget what I talk about. But um, I think Jason's going to make me a, um, I should say us. He's going to make us <laughs> a, an easel type something I that can hold that gigantic frame. Because I think that's going to work perfectly, not just for the ATC exchange, but for a other type of things that we do um it's just nice i don't i didn't have to it's it's nice it's really big and it, and it has enough room for many placements so pretty excited about that um, my husband is he is a he does he's actually very creative and so he um but he makes things very well and so with that being said they're very heavy so i explained to him i'm like i need it to be something i can actually move around myself but has some stability. So I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I can fold it up and then set it aside and then open it up and then put that big frame on there. And that big frame I bought, I want to say at least about or round or so 10 years ago at a yard sale. I knew I had to have it. It was a gigantic frame. And I knew one day I was going to do something magnificent with it. So, Little did I know I was going to be doing that magnificent thing with some magnificent people in my life here. So it's so cool. It's just so cool when you think about things, how they turn out. You know, what you don't know, you don't know until you know. And I'm just very grateful. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for, um, I'm really grateful for you guys, for my friendships. Okay, let's see. I like that. And then on the edge, it has that look. Now, once I get my cover figured out, then I will, maybe I will do paper. I'm just thinking right now that I feel like it should kind of match the, 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 the um, whatchamacallit, this thing. So then I decide who goes into which one. Because so I have two different ones, same paper pads. So I think either one will work. Where'd the other one go? I have another booklet somewhere. Where, oh, where? I don't know. Oh, right here in front of me. Jeez. This is the one where I took, I, I just put the paper down and then I ripped it off the edges. So this doesn't have the flip outs. It can have flip outs later. Um, but I took the strips of some more of that paper and then I just sewn up the edges and then I laid them all across the edges. I think we were working, were we working on this one last time? So I was doing the glue down thing and I scrunch, but I don't know if you can see, you can see the glue through it. That drives me crazy. And also it feels crispy. That is not that big of a deal, as long as it's not fully crispy, like it's not full crispy, but I can still see my glue. What glue do you use? I mean, does anybody else do the scrunchie where you put the fabric down? Let's do a little practice one so I can show you what I'm talking about. So where you put the fabric, let's grab a fabric here. Here's a fabric. Um, where you just take the fabric. So you like to put your glue. That's Fabri-Tac. And then you just lay this down and then you just kind of like do your own little scrunchies. You know what I'm talking about? Like that. I guess I can just practice and I can write down fa Fabri-Tac right there. Oh, I got more Fabri-Tac here. Let me finish that on going on. And then do that. And then we have the art glitter glue. Let's try some of this. I think I've seen people do different things. Now I'm talking about, I'm not gonna sew through this. So like, I know I've watched other people do glue stick, but I don't, I don't know what it is about the glue stick, but I don't think I have the same luck other people have with glue sticks on keeping my stuff down all the time. So I think I'm gonna try some more of this. Now this isn't satin either, so maybe it won't show through, but I will tell you when I was doing that satin, I couldn't see the glue right away either. That's kind of pretty. <laughs> Let's 
just practice. Okay, there we go. It's kind of pretty. Man, I almost wonder if, how what kind of fun it would be just to put a lot of these strips down a piece of paper and then just tear them off. This is supposed to be the junk mail makeover, Sandra. Sidetrack City here. So um, let me write on the back of this and we'll do, because I, I will forget. I'm positive I'll do forget which one I did first. Fat. Fab, I don't think I'm spelling this right, right. Fabri-Tac, whatever, something like that. And then this one is the Art Glitter Glue, which hopefully I'll remember what that means. Okay. All right, fancy, fancy, fancy. Back to the program over here. So as I was saying, I was thinking that maybe I should go ahead and just work with this paper pad to grab the outside cover. I don't want it, I don't think I want it to, I don't think it will, really matters. It could match exactly. These are three different papers though. Hmm. Let me grab that pad. Okay. And then if I remember, if you watch the other ones, I was trying to use the papers that I had already torn out of here instead of constantly tearing more out. I mean like, I have plenty in there, I can do it, but I just, Instead of it all being in this pad, eventually it'll all be someplace else, and then it will drive me even more nuttier. So, I, I like that. It would be pretty for one of the front covers, right? So here's some scraps. Let's see what we have here. Scrappy. We have small scraps there. This is super small, so I'm going to set this one over here because it might go into the scrap bin. There's a bigger scrap. There's a bigger scrap. Again with the smaller scraps. And I always punch these out and I always say I'm going to save them and use them and then I never do. They find their way to the garbage because, you know, I just don't know what to do with them. There's that one, that one, that one. I don't know that I want to do piece. I, don't, I know, no, I know for sure. I don't want to do piece work. I'm going to put on the cover but I wouldn't mind using a piece like this as a uh, on the cover. So if I was doing, I think I like it with that one though. Okay, work with one at a time. So if I did this one like that, then you see what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't mind that being on the cover. That's cute. All right, let's get my paper here. This is a big scrap, but it's it's funky. I don't. So I'm just gonna set that over there. This one over here. Okay, all these itty bitties out. But I'll, you know, I don't know if you guys know it or not. I'll, just, I'll, steep, I'll keep grabbing for them because I'll forget what I was doing. These are also, I don't wanna, um, I think I'm just gonna make scraps. Oh my gosh, hello. This is a bigger piece. This would be fine for either one, but I think it actually matches this envelope a little bit better. Will it fit this whole thing? Almost. I mean, well, yeah, it does actually. So would that look okay? I'm fine with that. Um, let's see. I have this side. No, I think I like this side. Is there a top and a bottom to this yet? I think I want it this way. Okay. Well, let's just put that one in there for now. And let's see if we can find one for this other one. We have these two bigger pieces. I feel like this, these stamps. Oh, see, it's on the front. Okay. There is not, it's not going to fit. Perfect. Or is it? It's my papers that are popping out. It's confusing me. I don't think it's going to fit perfect, but we can embellish. I like that. I might not use this one on this one. I think if it had a background, it could be okay, but I don't think so. Let me see. And yeah, I'm not using that one. All right. Pick the papers. Move, move on. Move on, lady. I'm going to put this in here. I might go ahead and do this with this one. After all. All right, 
that back in there. And we'll get this now covered. And then I'll know which one goes with which one. So, and then I already sewed before. Now, when I was sewing it, I hadn't just committed and I, and I kept telling myself, you're gonna wanna have sewn after you do the cover. But I didn't wanna wait because I, I didn't wanna forget my thought. So there is that. I have a couple of things I could do. I can pre-sew this paper if I want it to match. I can actually sew it again. I mean, there's no big deal about having two stitches on there. I could do that after I get this on or I can not stitch at all. So I think I'm gonna ink and not stitch and just get this on there. So let's get to inking. I'm gonna use this um, ground espresso and then I don't have, I only have this, look, I'm just tearing this up, but that's okay. I'm deciding where I want the front to be. Do I want the front to be this piece right here that's torn like that? I think so. And then, how do I want these to lay down? Maybe like this. Um, I, maybe I will pre-cut this, I don't know. Goodness gracious, make up your mind. I want it to go all the way around and I, and I may put fabric on the, or lace or something on the outside of this also, just when I get the spine done. Hmm. Yeah, I want it to go that way. So now I've had a lot of people talk to me about my, my gluing, <laughs> my gluing. <laughs> habits of how I do things. So last time I was gluing the paper or glue sticking the paper and then trying to stick it on there, those large pieces. And then I had a couple of friends say, have you tried maybe gluing, putting the glue on this and then adding that. And I think I did that. I had already done that with one of the page ones and it did seem to work out a lot better. So maybe we'll try that and see how that works. But I'm going to have to smush this down a little bit to help me. I think there you go. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to help me. It helps my mind to think it does. So that's, that works. That works for me. Let's get, um, who do we use? What glue, what glue wants to work? I don't know. I'm going to put this, the ooh, who, that's how you say it. Ooh, who, you, who, you, who. I feel like it would be a W if it was you, who, but ooh, who. Okay. Let's put this on. So I'm just gonna put all this glue stick around everywhere in the middle to get it to, because I want it to stick. And then I'm gonna take my art glitter glue, I'm gonna go around the edges and hope that works. I just kind of want that art glitter glue on the threads. Let me see. So to help hold the paper down to it, I think that will work better. Plus the threads are gonna chew my glue stick up if I try to run it across those. Okay, put that there. I'm so sad that Scotch Create hyped their prices so much. I, I really do like Scotch Create, but I'm not buying it at those prices. There's just no way, no way I'm not doing it. I do not love it that much. I don't need it that much. <laughs> I was like, I know Denise is with me on that too because she's a Scotch Create. She's a Scotch Create girl too, aren't you, Denise? Hi, Denise. And I, um, I'm just like, what the heck? Why do they do that? I mean, I know some places are like, we haven't increased our prices, or some places like maybe they haven't increased their prices in so long, so they all of a sudden they just do this huge hike. But I would rather have. I, I don't want the hikes at all. <laughs> but I mean, a slow progressive hikes or price increases are different, you know, in the mind, I think. 
I don't know, maybe they're like gasoline. They feel, they think that eventually everybody will get used to it and they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't mind spending that much money on a glue stick that doesn't last that long. Good night. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a um, negative downer here. I just honestly, like, it's just crazy. So how much money it costs. And, and really, I would rather just use a cheaper glue stick and then add another glue to it for some extra stability. That, uh, and then I feel like my glues go a little bit longer. Even if I'm spending the same amount of money doing it that way, my glues are lasting a little bit longer and um, I'm getting more value out of it. And at the end of the day, I'm all about that value. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there like that. Just trying to get it straight as possible, but you know that art glitter glue catches really fast. And so begins my struggle. Part of it's my hands, friends. If they're just not they're not playing nice lately. I just I just overdid them. So even without pain, they still I there's arthritis. Like that's not gonna that just doesn't go away. I'd have it. And so they get swollen and angry with me and they don't want to do what I want them to do. This is not going on straight, so I'm gonna just tear it up. Okay, Lordy. I'm gonna try this again. This time I'm gonna do one side at a time. I'm gonna lay my paper down and then I'm gonna go in with the glue with the art glitter glue, if I'm able. All right, still gonna be crooked, that's okay. I'll just have to deal with it. I really don't know if it's crooked. Maybe my cutting and stuff was crooked, but you can see how the line from that um, book cover is right there. I'll just use laser trim. I think it's gonna have to be something thin because of how tight that envelope is already. We'll see, we'll see. We don't know for sure yet what's gonna happen now. I know I said I was gonna put lace right there, but they could always put, pop that over. Let's just try it and see, because it's really cute paper, and then it gives me a little pocket. I can still open that up, possibly. Let's just see. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a, po well, it would be a pocket if I only glued it right there. But if I glue that right there, then I can still open it. Okay, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself, so I have to, <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. I for, no, it won't work to sit in the back seat and drive the car. Okay. Um, let's go here. See what we got now. All right. All right. Yeah, it's not bothering me as much as I thought it was since I know I can cover that up. I do kind of like that over there like that. And then I can always open that like that. Do I just go ahead and glue that down now? Mm. Yes. Because I'm not going to cover that. Okay, let's do it. Let's just, well, stop. Wait a minute. This is where I flounder a little bit more because I mean, it's just, it's just junk mail. But I mean, like, is that paper too flimsy to put a little piece of paper in there? I don't think so. Just do it. Stop. Stop the madness. I'm just kidding. I don't want to stop the madness. 
That's what drives me. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okie dokie. Like that. Okay. All right. Now, that's the front. Now, I now at least I have a front and I have a back. And, it, and my cover's covered. And it goes in this one like this. Yeah, it still works. Now, so I do need to make that my pocket a little bit different, I think, just to pop it up a little bit more. Possibly. For right now, I'm going to leave it. But I do think, see how, how it wants to fold anyways, how it's got that bump. And then I can, if I push it up a little bit more and do another little line, a score line there, I can go ahead and fold that over so it pushes this up a little bit. So I just trust myself, my thought, and do it with you guys. Let's try it. Let me find a scoreboard here. All right, I'm back with my scoreboard. And um, I love this little thing because I can take it with me places easily pack it in like a little craft and go bag and I can still have it and I do really use a scoreboard quite a bit because my hands aren't as very strong however I'm not the best <laughs> at lining stuff up so since this one already has a line and you can see like my scoreboard isn't as isn't as long as my folio thingy so I need to figure out where I'm going to put I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my pre-scored line right here in the number in a any number so I'm going to use number three so when I turn it around can I still use number three this way I think so it's kind of fluffy maybe if I take this out it would help um, and then I can stick it back there in number three again and then I'm just going to follow that line to make sure I'm, I'm in that groove okay I am and I just want to what punch it out about um, let me see. There's a three. This is the half. So this would be three and a quarter. So like a little quarter inch. I think that would be enough. I'm hoping because that's what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm just going to spin this around. Put that guy back in the number three here, and then I'm just gonna go down my line to make sure I'm in that groove, and I am. And then I can go all the way up here to the quarter inch and finish that out. Woohoo! look at me, this is early in the morning. Maybe I should do all this kind of stuff early. All right, and then we have this. And I think if I wanted to fold it this way, I was supposed to score it on the other side, but I mean, it's a rule. We all know how I am with rules. <laughs> so let me see. It still works. I mean, maybe it's easier. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. There, it must be easier if, there's, if it's a rule. So then here's where, see, yeah, it's easier because see, I'm not even getting it on my lines. Am I? I don't know. Met my papers crooked. Who cares? Do you guys care? <laughs> my, my papers not crooked. You need glasses. Okay. And in you know, and, and if the paper is crooked and it really bothers somebody, you can always add something to it. Okay, I like that. Let's see how this works now. There. Now I don't feel like I'm fighting the lever down, or the lever, the lever, the lid, the flap. Cute. All right, that works. Now, love my little scoreboard, and I always forget until I see this, and then I remember, oh yeah, there is some diagrams back here um, to make things, envelopes and whatnots, and it's math. <laughs> So we'll set that aside. Okay, and we got our we got this one covered. Whoops! And then we have all of these lace pages that want to stick together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a lock of this and out. I'm gonna set this one aside. 
Let's see if we can get this one covered. And then does this one also need scored? I think it might. Now this one's gonna be different because I pieced all these papers together. So when I score this one, it's gonna definitely look different. And this piece is gonna be on the top, which is fine. Something to think about though. Okay. Now, how do we want this? We definitely have a top and a bottom going. Yes, okay. Do I want this to be the front? That's pretty. Or do I want this to be the front? And that's pretty. Let's see. That matches that side. I don't think it really matters. And that matches that side. Okay, I kind of like that side better. And I'm thinking that I might actually use this one on here because it's cut and I've done this, I cut this a long time ago to use and I never have, and I just forget that I have it. All right. And inking, we will go. All right, here we go. Let's see, let me try something a little bit different with this one, you think? <laughs> I don't, oops. Oh, you mean like, uh, okay, so hopefully this will seal. So look what I did, I'm just like tearing this apart. I'm so rough with everything. Also, I realized that I don't think this is the back and the front. I think I, um, too late now, because everything's covered, but that's okay, it, it's okay. I just changed it, that's all. That's all. I'm gonna put, um, I want that paper to be glued down, so maybe what I'll do is use some of this art glitter glue here. See, that was a glue stick. Coffee dyed paper though, I mean like, I'm adding different things. I'm adding different things so you know, you just never know. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. All right, whoops, jollies. So let's do this, and this one I haven't sewn around, and I learned, I think, I think I learned my lesson. We're just gonna go like this, here on this side first. There, I like that, and I think I'm gonna have this little thing there, it looks like, um, because of my, the way I did my book, but that's okay. That's okay. It's gonna have to be okay. I'm like telling myself, like, it's okay, it's okay, you can keep doing this. Just move forward, just keep going. I mean, they're just, I think they're, it's funny, they're, they're both the same exact type of junk mail, but the way, a man handle them or a woman handle them or strong handle them or whatever you want to call it mishandled okay i don't know but anyways i have created my books my little booklets just to be a little bit cattywampus maybe i don't know but they're fun they're fine they're fun and they're fine they're the f word for sure okay <laughs> i thought i could i was gonna go ahead and unfold this one over here but um no because of that, although, I mean, that's actually, I've never done that before. I've, I'm always like, oh no, there's fabric, I can't do it there. But 
I can, and that's actually kind of cute. So let's do it. Let's just do it. There's no rules. I need to quit trying to make rules, and I need to quit trying to follow rules that really aren't even there. I can do whatever I want. Ouch, including I hurt myself. There we go. Sit. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to do that <laughs> for sure. All right, let's get it done. Let's get it down. Um, will this work? I don't know. We're gonna, But I'm going to go ahead and do it on that whole fabric piece because I know I wouldn't be able to throw paper there anyways or a card or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and do that one a little bit on the thicker side here. And then this one can be a little bit thinner. Maybe. I mean, I guess it's thick as well, but not as thick. And then pull these over there like that. Why not? Why not? And that could just be a little ruffly. Yeah. Let's be different. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the first person to do that. I'm positive. I could not possibly be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay. All right, this little piece that I grabbed out on accident and it just keeps flying everywhere with me, obviously wants to be on here somewhere. So, um, or one of these, and I wonder, so I have these little trims here. Maybe that's what I was doing and I was gonna put these on something. Like that would be cute, just right here to cover that up a little bit. Could do that. Um, could go on the edge here like that. I just don't know which way I would want it. Maybe it needs to go here on this edge, but that's not the edge I'm trying to fix. Okay, it's gonna go in here somewhere, maybe. Um, I kinda like that too. Maybe that's what I'll do, just add some pieces here and there. But first I want this to dry because I wanna know it's gonna stick down and my booklet's still gonna open. Let's see how it fits in here. Cute, super duper cute. And look at I'm already trying to decorate this. Didn't I just ink that for this? And then a piece of this can go here. It's funny because there's like no yellow in here. What am I doing? Can I change my mind, you guys? Okay, what about this? I know I want to put some of this on too, but I want to wait until I have this booklet done because this will be a little bit of bulk. And I'm thinking, I also want to put like a piece on the front here, like a little, like a, I was thinking about gluing this to a piece of magnet and putting a magnet on here and making it like a little magnet snap, but that sounds like a lot of work for me. We'll see. I do like this here, but I think it needs something to pop it off a little bit. Where'd my, where'd my big scraps go? They're all super, um, like light and I would need something dark like this or darker. Are we gonna do it? You know, like that and that. There's a little bit of green in there. That would be cute. I'm not gonna, but I'm not supposed to rip anything out of this. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, so I do like this. Um, I think, though, it needs something a little bit darker to go behind it. I don't know if it has to go the whole way. It could just be a partial piece there, you know, and then maybe that's where I'm going to add a little bit of this trim in like that. That's kind of cute. Should we just do it and see how we like it? Um, I want to just do it right now, but I'm like, am I going to like all these straight edges? What's wrong with me? Why can't I do a straight edge? Let's see. Ink it to unink it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Let's just put that down. And then I want that right there because I want this right here, right? Do I want that right in the center? I don't think so. I want this to be like that. Okay. 
I'm never going to remember where this is. So let's do this. Let's take this and glue that piece down there like that. And then we'll take that and glue that like that. And look at it. I gotta fix that because I got that down too far. There, that works like that. Then like that. Okay. Let's just get glue stick everywhere. Good night. Okay. It's a dry rag, but whatever. It'll work for a minute, I think. And we are still right side up. I am upside down. Oh, my gosh. Pull it together. <laughs> okay, I think that's where I want it. Like that. There we go. Okay, I need to grab a baby wipe. Because I'm, like, making a serious mess here. All right, now... One of the things I do is I, I have a big glue smudge there. I need to get that off. Nope, that's not glue. That's glue right there. Try and clean that up a little bit. I don't know if that works or not. Clean my hands up a little bit. There. <laughs> What's going on there? I do, and I did like this. So I'm thinking maybe take this all the way around to the back too, because it's cute, right? It's like cute on there. Okay, I like it. You say yay, I say yay. And let's take this. Will this work on here? I don't even know. I hope it does. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. If it doesn't, then I can always go back and add Fabri-Tac to it, but I think this works on this. threads hanging off my hands here. Let me hold on a second. There we go. There. That's cute. All right. Very much liking this so far. Um, and this one now is the front is covered and I've got a little bit of a decoration on there. Let's see what happens when I stick it in here. Do we need to also, yeah, we do also. See how it's, you can hear it and it's bending all of that <laughs> that I just put on there. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a score. And then I guess I can try the other side to see, but I don't know that my line there is correct. So let's just do it this way. All right, I'm gonna go into the three mark here. And I wanna make sure that I get into that fold here, but I'm still in that line. Okay, and I am. So I'm gonna go a quarter of an inch because that's the one I did before and it seemed to be okay. Okay, now turn it around. Go back into my three. Okay, there we go. Whoops, and then I went off of it. Did you see that? Got a little too sure of myself there. So I wanna go into the quarter here. There you go. I went into the wrong one, that's what it was. Okay, let's see if that works. Um, I'm gonna use this one here, my my amazing bone folder here that, um, that Mitch bought and gifted me. Thank you so much, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. I love that thing so much. 
<laughs> half the time when I'm when I'm in here by myself, I'm like my Mitch stick. It's like my bone folder. Nobody's gonna know what I'm talking about if I say. Does anybody else name their stuff? Like I like you know like how I I named my mannequin. I named my tools. I name all kinds of stuff. I just feel like I spend so much time with them. I just want it to be a little more personable. <laughs> you know, There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, there we go. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other one as well. And I can see my paper's popping off a little bit, so I will have to go and add glue or trims or whatever. But for now, cute, it's a cute little pocketbook, little envelope. So this is the one where I said I didn't fold my papers over. I just went to the edges. So I need to add some glue. I can add some other trims. Like how fun would this be to add something that flows down? Um, let's see what I have just handy. I don't know if this is what I'm gonna use, but it could be, how cute is that? So we can put that together. Would I put that in the front or the back? I like it like this. And then something back here. I mean, I could do it two times, but I really like where the flaps are, I like. I think it's just the prettiest part to me. I'm gonna, let's get this glued down here real quick. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this done for right now, and we will continue this. And I think what I'll do is I'll just keep continuing the junk mail makeovers and we'll just move on to different pieces until junk mail either stops coming to me or I burn myself out <laughs> or I just get tired of doing it for a while and then we can just stop. I don't think I'll ever stop doing it forever because it's just one of those things. It's recycling and making things that are not so pretty, making them beautiful and fun I mean, and we never run out of people to gift. So even if I wasn't selling things, I, or anybody, you know, we just don't run out of people to gift. And how cute. Like, if I gave that to somebody, they'd be like, that is the most cutest thing. They would never know it was a junk mail. Well, and if I don't fix it. Anyhow, there we go, my friends. Let's see, we've got that one covered. We got this one covered. We don't have a front on this one yet, but we do have this one. And that's cute. I'm like happy just the way that is right now in the front. I don't think I need to do anything more to it. It's not gonna fit in that envelope if I do. So tell me what you think. Are you playing along with me? I hope so. I um, am super duper enjoying this. And I, think, I, I agree with you, my friends. I think this is gonna be the most fun um, series of things to create for our junk journal world. I hope you enjoy all your moments and I will see you on the next video. Bye.